Right then, this is going to be a bit of a new thing for people used to my uh, regular appearance. One, the beard has gone. You might have already seen that on other videos. Two, I'm currently, as you can see, in a very sunny Birmingham, having just ridden the first of the new Edge Baston trams. So this is almost like a behind the scenes of how I do things. So I'm just gonna wander around, take some footage, have a nice see of the site, pass comments on what I see. Right, so I'm walking along Broad Street at the moment. Now once upon a time, this was all full of traffic. Uh, now it's restricted mainly to trams and buses and it looks a heck of a lot nicer, I have to say. Quite a few people wandering around taking photographs of trams and filming them, so you can imagine it's not as not as hectic as London was, thankfully I, I dodged that bullet with the crowds. <laughs> I don't think I'd have coped with that. Right. With all new infrastructure, shall we try the usual? That will be a Pedex, not a Puffin, because it's got five side indicators. <laughs> Hang on a sec, that says no motor vehicles. That says no entry. Which one is it? Make your minds up. Another favourite of mine. All the complex advanced direction signs. Don't think I've ever seen that before. That's a new one. This is probably heresy, but one, I don't like weather spoons. Two, I don't like how brindly place is one word. Seems to be all the rage now to have these. People can't suss out that they shouldn't go through a bus gate. Manchester's got loads of them. I'm gonna let you all in on a little secret, actually. I'm not a massive advocate for big roads in city centres. People think I am, but I'm not. I'm an advocate for transport networks that are fit for purpose. If that requires a big road, then so be it. But nine times out of 10 in a built-up area, it doesn't. You just can't move as many people in a car as you can in a tram. And everyone's always got an excuse. Oh, I can't use them because I can't do this and I can't do... You know, well, you know, there are ways and means around it. Just, just don't understand this uh, Stockholm syndrome where people must use their car no matter what. God, I love e-bikes. That I do like that. That is an invention that's changed the world. Everybody should get one. They're amazing. I've got one. All right, let's have another tra traffic light test. I love doing this. Instant. That's good. I like that. That's when the sport happens. I'm not a sports person, but good luck to everyone who's participating. You know, put Birmingham on the map again. Where were we? Oh yeah, we were walking, weren't we? That's what we were doing. Into the town, town, oh sorry. Sorry Birmingham, city. City centre now. This involves going across Paradise Circus, which used to be horrendous. That used to be a big massive roundabout, now it's not. It's like a two-way, runs on the halfway around the old layout. It's all very different, it's all much better than it was, truth be told. Paradise Circus was always a misnomer, wasn't it? It's almost like reverse nominative determinism. Okay, once you get past all the concrete, there's still some nice bits of old Birmingham surviving. It's like old Herbert didn't get to demolish everything in the end, did it? Probably for the best. Rumour has it somebody's locked in that. 
I'm near my final destination. I'm meeting back up with uh, Jen on the move. So you know what that means. It begins with the C and ends in Oster. So I'll do the wrap up here. Thanks for watching this brief little Northern Adults Birmingham video. Bit of a new style, bit of an experiment. If you like it, like I said, let me know. If you don't like it, also let me know politely. If you liked what you've seen, feel free to like and subscribe and share. That will really help my channels grow a lot and I'll appreciate it massively. Nice music. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.